Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about 6 common signs you are deficient in vitamins. So make sure to watch the full video. 6 common signs you're deficient in vitamins. Symptoms of vitamin deficiency include brittle hair and nails, mouth ulcers, hair loss, scaly skin patches, and more. Recognizing these signs can help you adjust your diet accordingly. A well-balanced and nutritious diet has many benefits. On the other hand, a diet lacking in nutrients may cause various unpleasant symptoms. These symptoms are your body's way of communicating potential vitamin and mineral deficiencies. This video reviews the six most common signs of vitamin and mineral deficiencies and how to address them. 1. Brittle hair and nails. A variety of factors may cause brittle hair and nails. One of them is a lack of biotin. Biotin, also known as vitamin B7, helps the body convert food into energy. A deficiency in biotin is very rare, but when it occurs, brittle, thinning, or splitting hair and nails are some of the most noticeable symptoms. Other symptoms of biotin deficiency include chronic fatigue, muscle pain, cramps, and tingling in the hands and feet. Pregnant women, heavy smokers or drinkers, and people with digestive disorders like Crohn's disease are at the greatest risk of developing biotin deficiency. Also, the prolonged use of antibiotics and some anti-seizure medications is a risk factor. Eating raw egg whites may cause biotin deficiency as well. That's because raw egg whites contain avidin, a protein that binds to biotin and can reduce its absorption. Foods rich in biotin include egg yolks, organ meats, fish, meat, dairy, nuts, seeds, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, yeast, whole grains, and bananas. Trusted Source Adults with brittle hair or nails might consider trying a supplement. That provides about 30 micrograms of biotin per day. 2. Mouth ulcers or cracks in the corners of the mouth. Lesions in and around the mouth may partly be linked to an insufficient intake of certain vitamins or minerals. For instance, mouth ulcers, also commonly referred to as canker sores, are often the result of deficiencies in iron or B vitamins. One small study notes that patients with mouth ulcers appear to be twice as likely to have low iron levels. In another small study, around 28% of patients with mouth ulcers had deficiencies in thiamine, vitamin B1, riboflavin, vitamin B2, and pyridoxine, vitamin B6. Angular chelitis, a condition that causes the corners of the mouth to crack, split, or bleed, can be caused by excess salivation or dehydration. However, it may also be caused by an insufficient intake of iron and B vitamins, particularly riboflavin. Foods rich in iron include poultry, meat, fish, legumes, dark leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. Good sources of thiamine, riboflavin, and pyridoxine include whole grains, poultry, meat, fish, eggs, dairy, organ meats, legumes, green vegetables, starchy vegetables, nuts, and seeds. If you experience these symptoms, try adding the foods above to your diet to see if your symptoms improve. 3. Bleeding gums Sometimes a rough toothbrushing technique is at the root of bleeding gums, but a diet lacking in vitamin C can also be to blame. Vitamin C plays an important role in wound healing and immunity, and it even acts as an antioxidant, helping prevent cell damage. Your body does not make vitamin C on its own, so the only way to maintain adequate levels of it is through diet. Vitamin C deficiencies are rare in individuals who consume enough fresh fruits and vegetables. That said, many people fail to eat enough fruits and vegetables each day. This may explain why studies performing routine screenings of healthy populations estimate low vitamin C levels in 13 to 30 percent of the population, with 5 to 17 percent of people being deficient. Consuming very little vitamin C through the diet for long periods can bring on symptoms of deficiency, including bleeding gums and even tooth loss. Another serious consequence of severe vitamin C deficiency is scurvy, which depresses the immune system weakens muscles and bones, and makes people feel fatigued and lethargic. Other common signs of vitamin C deficiency include easy bruising, 
slow wound healing, dry scaly skin, and frequent nosebleeds. Make sure to consume enough vitamin C by eating at least two pieces of fruit and three to four portions of vegetables each day. 4. Poor night vision and white growths on the eyes. A nutrient-poor diet can sometimes cause vision problems. For instance, low intakes of vitamin A are often linked to a condition known as night blindness, which reduces people's ability to see in low light or darkness. That's because vitamin A is necessary to produce rhodopsin, a pigment found in the retinas of the eyes that helps you see at night. When left untreated, night blindness can progress to xerophthalmia, a condition that can damage the cornea and ultimately lead to blindness. Another early symptom of xerophthalmia is petot spots, which are slightly elevated, foamy white growths that occur on the conjunctiva or white part of the eyes. The growths can be removed to a certain extent, but only fully disappear once the vitamin and deficiency is treated. Fortunately, vitamin deficiency is rare in developed countries. Those who suspect their vitamin A intake is insufficient can try eating more vitamin-rich foods, such as organ meats, dairy, eggs, fish, dark leafy greens, and yellow-orange colored vegetables. Unless diagnosed with a deficiency, most people should avoid taking vitamin A supplements. That's because vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, which, when consumed in excess, can accumulate in the body's fat stores and become toxic. Symptoms of vitamin A toxicity can be serious and include nausea, headaches, skin irritation, joint and bone pain, and, in severe cases, even coma or death. 5. Scaly Patches and Dandruff Seborrheic Dermatitis SB, and dandruff are part of the same group of skin disorders that affects the oil-producing areas of your body. Both involve itchy, flaking skin. Dandruff is mostly restricted to the scalp, whereas seborrheic dermatitis can also appear on the face, upper chest, armpits, and groin. The likelihood of these skin disorders is highest within the first three months of life, during puberty, and in mid-adulthood. Studies show that both conditions are also very common. Up to 42% of infants and 50% of adults may suffer from dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis at one point or another. Dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis may be caused by many factors, with a nutrient-poor diet being one of them. For instance, low blood levels of zinc, niacin, vitamin B3, riboflavin, vitamin B2, and pyridoxine, vitamin B6, may each play a role. While the link between a nutrient-poor diet and these skin conditions is not fully understood, people with dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis might want to consume more of these nutrients. Foods rich in niacin, riboflavin, and pyridoxine include whole grains, poultry, meat, fish, eggs, dairy, organ meats, legumes, green vegetables, starchy vegetables, nuts, and seeds. 6. Red or white bumps on the skin Keratosis pilaris is a condition that causes goosebump-like bumps to appear on the cheeks, arms, thighs, or buttocks. These little bumps may also be accompanied by corkscrew or ingrown hairs. The condition often appears in childhood and naturally disappears in adulthood. Keratosis pilaris may have a genetic component, meaning that a person is more likely to have it if a family member has it. That said, it has also been observed in people with diets low in vitamins A and C. These include organ meats, dairy, eggs, fish, dark leafy greens, yellow-orange colored vegetables, and fruit. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.